Hello, everybody. We are going to Whale Bay. Um, if anyone wondered, this level is completely underwater, or mostly at least. And if you don't like those kind of levels, um, well, I suggest throwing the game away right now. I'm just kidding. Uh, this is only one level. It's not that bad. It's actually kind of a fun level because of the easy swimming and stuff. We are going to be introduced to a new enemy who is, I don't really know what his name is, but he's cool looking, isn't he? Whoa. It's a very mean enemy. Very nice when you hide and charge up and throw it at him. I don't think it has any effect, but... We got someone right in his face. Throw a big shred at his face. And he is down for the count. Um, as you can see, there's a switch up there. You can actually hit it from here, I think, but... Oh, I thought it threw. Oh, no, I didn't. Haha, ha. I outsmarted you, game, but I'm not going to out totally outsmart you, because there's stuff in here. Well, what you're supposed to do is jump in this fish tank here. And this, be this beautiful music plays while you're in here. I don't know if anyone can hear it, but it is amazing to me. I like it. Yo lum, yo lum, yo lum. Don't say lolo yum. You always do that. Uh, and this is what they expect you to do. And be in a fish tank with the music today. I don't know why. I like the fish tank idea because cool, it was really cool looking. Yeah, I admit. That fish tank was awesome. I'm getting health right there is some. But uh, we don't need none, so let's just continue. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's continue down here. Oh, God. I want your ass. Oh, jeez, they can stop attacking me at least. That'd be kind of helpful. This is Hydra Piranha, jeez. on me so it's kind of hard to play. Um, this part here is not that bad. I don't want to say it's horribly bad, but it's pretty bad, like difficulty wise. Spawn down here, and you get a little place to explore. Um, this place is pretty cool, that is it. Uh, better than the levels we've been going through so far. You know, one minute we're in an aquarium, next minute we're in a, like a pirate place, really. This place is kind of random. Everyone, other than that, oh, fudge, he'll jump. You know, the funny thing is, there's actually people talk to that, like, naturally. Which is kind of a creepy idea, but, you know. Whoa. There are cars. Oh, that's the one hit. Oh, screw this. Screw this bullshit. Now, what might this be? Oh, yes. I don't get squished. Remember from that one level? I don't need to worry about it, though. These barrels are too bad. Oh, pirate dude. You know, we look really close up to them, like, with the, when the cutscenes and stuff. They actually look pretty cool looking. Pretty good, pretty good uh, animation for an N64 model, too. I mean, you gotta admit, N64 models aren't usually that good. Hey puppy, get off me. Seriously. Go play, puppy. Go play or I'll send you out of the room. <laughs> and apparently there's a way to get a purple one there. Or should be at least. Oh, that's right. I get it. Now it's in a cage. That's how it goes. 
fudge. This part is stupid. Look how horribly animated that thing there is. <laughs> I don't know if anyone can see it, but it's pretty badly programmed right there. It's probably like 10 feet away from the thing. That happens a lot in N64 games, by the way. Don't make fun of them. It's not like a bad programmer or something. Keep in mind, this is one of the first 3D systems ever made, so... It's pretty good, you gotta admit, for that kind of thing. Nintendo is awesome for inventing all kinds of cool things for our gaming. They like the Wii. Whenever they invent something, a whole bunch of cheap companies rip them off and make extra money. Like the Wii. I play, I actually own about 20 Wii knockoffs. I probably do. And all of them are good. I'm not gonna say they're all bad. I mean, there are actually some the Wii, there, there are some pretty good knockoffs. They have like a Wii Sports knockoff. Whoa. The well. The well. I think I'll remember you actually you actually are eliminated with your air. Derp. But anyways, it's not that bad still. Even with the air uh limits, it's not that bad of a level. I mean you're still only like halfway through the game, so they wouldn't do it that bad on you. Okay. It's one of those games you can't memorize all the levels to, you know? Amazing. Look at this. Let's see this is. This is what I came up from. Okay. Let's see. Because usually you see a rope that randomly. Let's see. Let's breathe. Grab my ear bubbles. Well, that's simple. That was lucky. Her right there. Whoops. Hurt the birdie. Hurt the birdie. I'm so stupid. Quickly, Rayman. Beat the shit out of the birdies. I wish you could do that. Seriously, do. Because it's funny with you. This is actually a good way to get some extra love if you need them. A little exploration around here, see what's going on. You know, save yourself all the pain of running around. Clean this cupcake. No. You try to annoy me. And what you get for going into here is a lot of health. And 10 yellow lums, which are totally worth the challenge we just did. Jeez, you got 30 by how hard that one was. I'm so thin of a path, and you just gotta jump off right at the end. I expect you to know what you're doing, but they don't, like, you don't. So you think by now you'd like know it a thing you just learned like two levels ago. Well, the truth is you probably should, but I'm not saying you shouldn't, but you know. Uh let's see what's going on down here. As of now you need to go underwater. That would hurt though. Figure out what we're swimming through. In the next episode, I will continue. Thank you for watching.